shit stuff. Yeah. So like one of his series at the moment is you know wish.com. Yeah. Yeah, he gets he orders stuff <laughs> up random stuff off that and reviews how bad it is. <laughs> but he does often get people send him like old military rations. And when oh. I'm talking like old like 50 years old like Vietnam War and like Korean War so 60 what? 70 years old. Are those still edible? Um no. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he opens it and he takes like a little bit. Like eats a tiny bit and it's, yeah, spits oh. it out straight away. I was curious because like they're dried and like vacuum sealed, so I don't know. One time he got sent like hundred year old olives from a shipwreck Jesus. that they'd found, and he uncorked it and tipped it. It was just like a black sludge. It was yeah, not uh, good. Uh. All right, so we're getting the uh, inkling versus the the yellow Kirby. I didn't know Kaidash played yellow Kirby. Yeah, crazy. Hey, anyway, um, he's digivolving. <laughs> Wildemold. I never liked that show. I never Ooh. liked Digimon at all. Did you like Digimon as a kid? Uh, I didn't it think was I a had cheese a TV favorite. <laughs> yeah. The Demon and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. See, I never really watched cheese TV as a kid that oh. much because either mum and dad were watching something on TV already or I just didn't get up early enough to watch cheese TV. <laughs> so. Excellent back air. Yeah, um, uh, were you ABC man in the morning? I was very much TV ABC, okay. ABC kind of person. ABC kind of man, yeah. Remember Roller Coaster? Yeah, and Elliot. That was good, dude. Classic. Ooh, I think Dragon Booster. I think when he st when Roller Coaster started, like I didn't watch it because I think by then I was too old for kids yeah. TV or whatever. I but I do remember him pretty vividly because my sister would watch Roller Coaster and yeah. other. Um, Hello. Hello. You are playing the loser of this match that is happening right now. Well, you don't get a choice. But you might get a choice. You were banned from watching TV from watching TV before primary before school. I had friends um, in when I was younger who weren't allowed to like I wasn't oh. allowed to play PC or um, console. Oh, that's the as a kid until yeah. the weekend or until Friday night and and stopped again on Sunday. But. Um, I had friends who weren't even allowed to watch TV during the week. Jeez. That was like they weren't allowed to do anything. Yeah. So I was, you know, I did not envy them, but still banned from watching TV before school. Were you allowed to watch TV after school? Please tell me you were. I would. I'll be very sad for you. Yeah. But my old man rant nowadays. My niece, she just gets handed an iPad, and that's like her babysitter. It's for the weird, evening. isn't it? Yeah. It's like, so weird. Here's, here's ten of your shows queued up. See you in six hours. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in my family, TV was my babysitter. So. You never got to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Oh, that was a good one. I um, never liked slash watched Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I loved the original series and Ooh, that was it. Dead. That is a clean three stop. And black. Yeah, or yellow. Is Dag Dag's still there? is still here, but he Dag's just got down. knocked out of bracket. 3-1, nice damage. Um, yeah, I only liked the original series of Yu-Gi-Oh! But... I used to get dragged along to church by Dad mm. on Sundays, and Yu-Gi-Oh! new episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh! would air on Nickelodeon at like 5.30 on a Sunday night, or Sunday afternoon, and church, church was at 6. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so I would get really pissed off to the point where I was like, no, I'm going to, I'm watching Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> instead, of, instead of going to church. So Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh! Yu -Oh! has uh, made me stray from the Lord's guidance, but nice. you know what? Truly demonic. <laughs> <laughs> I have been sent to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh! is the left path. It is apparently. Wow. It wasn't even what the heck. It wasn't even worth it. I didn't know Kaidash played Yoshi, but he does. Uh, it wasn't even worth it because I went back the other week and watched some old Yu-Gi-Oh, like the first season. It's so awful. It's shit. It's so bad. I um, remember maybe like a year ago, eighteen months ago now, when Twitch played Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh yeah, yep. Or Twitch watch Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. It was like a big marathon stream. It yep. was like an ad every after every episode for like ten minutes. And really? I watched it and I was like, this is bad. This is paced poorly. What do these cards do? <laughs> and I got hey, I got sick of Joey Wheeler saying Baby Dragon. Holy shit! Baby Dragon. <laughs> was he still using that um card by the end of the show? I feel like he was. Him and uh, Time Wizard or something. Yeah, back in that tournament arc with uh, Marek. Is that the one we're talking about? When Battle City or whatever. When the or, island then. Oh, stars. Jewel's Kingdom. That's yeah. the very first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With baby Dragon. I was like, fuck. <laughs> uh, you may. Yeah, yeah so you are. Yoshi. Yoshi's doing, he's doing thanks. Yeah, he's making making some headway. The, um, I feel like the the Kirby just gets circles run around him. Whoa, up smash his platform. The, the taunt. Yeah, the Kirby just gets rings run around him because he's too slow. Um, can't really keep up with the inkling either on the ground or in the air. 
Whereas yeah. Yoshi, like, highest air speed in the game, I think. Right. Oh, that was a sick confirm. That's like a really small window to land it up the up air, I'm pretty sure. And, um, yeah, Kirby has so many detriments, which is pretty unfair. Like, no snapping to ledge. Yeah. Just like a free detail for most characters. The yep. ledge guard. So brutal. Yeah. Like, where is the upside to this character? Uh, he's got a good down tilt and up tilt. I guess so, like... <laughs> Sad. Did you? Did I know that Pot of Greed allows me to draw two cards from my deck? I, I didn't know until you I just told me, despite the fact that I've watched Yu-Gi-Oh! in its entirety. It's news to me. Oh, no idea. Isn't it distressing when you um, you watch the show forever and then you get to you want to play the game competitively and you find out Pot of Greed has been banned since forever? <laughs> but I want to do what the show does. I think actually when I was playing, because I was talking oh, to I was talking to Spamage about Yu-Gi-Oh! earlier today. Yeah. And I realized that I looked up the ban list and stuff, and apparently they only started doing like a ban cards kind of thing in 2004. So mean? when I first started playing, Pot of Greed would have still been legal. So. Do you think they would have not have learned from uh, Magic the Gathering? Or like... Huh? No one knows. I have honestly. no idea, dude. Banned in every universe. I can't believe a children's card game led me astray. Yeah, I can't either. But here we are. Yeah, would have been able to come back. Looking after this stuff. Wow. Oh, down throw, down smash? That looks like I it had like a shield advantage. Thing. I wouldn't be surprised. This character is ridiculous. I, if either of these players get to... I feel like it would be more fitting if Kai Dash gets to win his finals right. to play the Kirby vs. DDD matchup, but um, Inkling is going to dick on the DDD. DDD. Yeah. I'm gonna not going to have a good time. Gordos are invalid because you're in the ground. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I forgot what I was going to say. Something about Yu-Gi-Oh! That can't be it. No, surely it is. It is the best game ever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Uh, I remember trying to emulate Ash's Pokemon team, like, in, in game. Yeah, yeah. I just couldn't do it. And I cried because, you know, it was, like, version exclusive. Yeah. I was just so upset. Wait, which Pokemon game? Like, Fire Red or just the original games? Or? Uh, like, Emerald? When you had, like, Torchic right. yeah, and yeah, Torkoal yeah. and all that stuff. And I was like, how did he get all these Pokemon so early? <laughs> Torkoal is late game. <laughs> and I was just, like, so upset. Very sad. Do you remember, um, you remember Tarzos, yeah? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> Do you remember the Yu-Gi-Oh ones? The yeah. metal? Bro, I have so many and I don't know where they are. I, I think I know where my, I... Neat. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna do it. Alrighty. So the Yoshi looked pretty, pretty hot for a moment there, but... The Inkling managed to pull it back. Yeah, Wildermold. Wildermold. I said Wildermold. Wildermold. Mmm, it just rolls off the tongue. Wildermold. Wildest mold. Wilderness mold. Wilderness. Oh, wildy, zero. wildy mildy. Wildy mildy. <laughs> um... The Tarzos. Yeah. There was... I remember there were, like, gold editions of all of them. Mm, yeah. And we were all trying to get Exodia. Yeah. And there was this Japanese kid. He was, like, no one... He, no one was really friends with him. Mm. And there's this Japanese kid, and no one really talked to him, but then he got a gold Exodia in one of the Smith's <laughs> packets. And everyone was like, I'll trade you, man. I'll trade uh, you. Give me a gold Exodia. I'll trade you for my friendship. <laughs> I thought you were alluding to he went to the store with like those super electronic scales like down to the picogram. Yeah, it's just like weighing all the, the cards, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I love it how people do that though. Like yeah. that's that's <laughs> hilarious how <laughs> so good. people weigh the card packets and you can tell yeah. if there's a rare in there just or the not. Just the slightest, slightest variance. I had. Sorry, yeah, on. no, you go first. You go first. Okay. I had so many Tarzos because both my parents worked um, in their break room at work. They had vending machines and people would often get chips. Yep. And my mum and dad were just like, I have a child, please give me the Tarzos. <laughs> He'll be very mad at me. Fair and enough. And then I had, I don't know, dude. I want to say I could bathe in them. Oh, I had at least. That's an upset. At least 200. Do you guys want to play on stream after this? Yes. Locally, locally. Um, yeah, what were you going to say? Like just Yu-Gi-Oh ones or multiple? I had the footy ones. I had there was like square ones at one point. There were Pokemon. Do you remember those? I don't know. If, I don't or remember Digimon? the Pokemon ones. I remember there were Dragon Ball Z ones, and they were like battle ones or something. They had weird yeah. edges to them. Weren't they were like in a weird chip packet? That was neither. Maybe, yeah. maybe like Samboy or something. Yeah. Holy shit. Those are good chips still. They're still out there. You can find them in like IGA and stuff. Yeah. But um, what was the other one? Oh, Pogs. The Simpsons Pogs. You remember <laughs> those? Yes. Yeah. Dude. I've got heaps of those. Oh. The um. Elf Park. From hell. The only I thought that was a down smash on the yeah. The only Whoa. only thing I've ever collected or found that I that was actually worth money was a I just for fun when I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh about five or six years ago, I bought a booster pack from E B Games. I yeah. realized how jacked things are now because it's like five dollars for a pack of six cards or something instead Insane. of instead of nine cards now. Rip yeah. off. But anyway, I got 
the rarest card in the set from the only booster I bought. <laughs> and it was on eBay for like $80. I was like, oh, I'm going to save it. It'll be worth more later. Yeah. It was worth like $2. It's worth like $2 now. Oh, did they just print heaps of it? They must have, yeah. So, That's unfair. Yeah, I was like, I'm going to hang on to it. Mistakes were made. I should have sold it there and then. Do you remember Bakugan? That was probably out of your time. I was probably old at that point, too. I, it rings a bell, but I don't remember it. It was like some weird Lego Bionicle hybrid where you roll them onto cards and they spring up as magnets. Magnets. Right. And um, I had a... I had a cousin of mine, he was older than I was, and he was really good at playing the game. Right. And you play, we played Bakugan for keeps, and I lost all ten of my Bakugan to him once. And I right. just cried. <laughs> my mom was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Why did you care for all your Bakugan? And I was like, <laughs> Bakugan. The, um... Do you remember there was Duel Masters? Do you remember that show? Yeah, with like the three shields or whatever. You get like I don't. Card. I have no idea how it worked. I remember. I remember seeing it because I remember it became a really big thing or a relatively big thing. They had cards from McDonald's at one point. You got a booster pack. Really? From McDonald's. I do not remember that, but yeah. I remember at one point, like it would have been, I was in grade six or seven when they became really popular. Yeah. And I was just like, this is just ripping off Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, straight up. Just just shields now instead of health. Just the one direct hit does it down. I remember in that one. That mo that show taught me the line "Pink is the new black" because that was like one of the characters said that and it just stuck with me. <laughs> no idea why. He was like, "Pink is the new black." And I was like, <coughs> what? Classic. Yeah. Words of wisdom. I know. So this one's pretty close. The Kirby's uh, yeah made some headway. I forgot to change it back from Yoshi. It's okay. Yeah, that roller's been doing some serious work. Yeah. Gotta find a way to suck it out Yeah. Kirby can't play keep away because there's no projectiles, so. Yeah. It's tough to not get hit by it. Run away! Would have well adjusted there. I think maybe he let go of it earlier to try to catch the jump. Pretty slick. Tick attack. Wow, landing fair into D2. Why does that have no landing? Though? Who can say, honestly? This character is Diddy Kong incarnate. It's just been re. re. what? W what? What just happened? That was a strange trade. Whoa, if he connected that last fair, he might have died. At least Kirby's back air is still great. Yeah, I mean, there's not many good things you can say about this character. Honestly. Yeah, the run speed doesn't let you utilize a, a, a raw bear. He just needs better startup or range. He needs to be two inches, like in the like cannon. I think he needs to be. <laughs> is he dead? I think he needs to be. Um, Confirm. Oh. Nothing apparently. I think he just needs to be slightly faster, and yeah. he'll be all right. Like not, not amazing. Oh, shoot pressure. Nice roll read. Down air? Damn, he's placing the down as well, but Wildermold is just waiting it out. Great adjustment. Oh, oh drop shield, shield way too no. early. Right. That was a close one. Great job by Wildermold. Damn. That, that was a close one. That tough. was very close. Okay, well. No rip. Now my hands are cold, and I didn't warm up, so. Too late. Let it be known. Alright, so now we're gonna get Jose and 